Chef Freddy here, tricks of the trade. Ginger, has ginger ever just bothered you, right? And you're like hitting it with a, a vegetable peeler or you start just rough chopping. You're like, man, should I keep that skin on? Our handy dandy friend here, the spoon. That's how we're gonna take this peel off of the ginger to then have a nice, fresh piece of ginger that we can cut down and use for sauces, marinades, maybe some tea, right? If you like to make tea and you want fresh ginger, it's the way to do it, right? By the way, ginger, folks, very good for the immune system, extremely good for gut health, right? Um, anytime I'm feeling like I'm, I'm coming down with something, I start using gym, ginger, I use fresh lemons and some honey, right? Um, helps with the throat, helps with the, uh, the esophagus, right? When it's sore, right? The, the tip of the esophagus, right? Um, and extremely good, again, for your gut health. All right, guys, so uh, never leave ginger out to play, right? But again, so we're gonna break it down with this spoon. We're gonna peel this ginger with this spoon. So here, right, you see how easy that's coming off there, guys, all right? Um, way better than a vegetable peeler. This is another trick of the trade that some people like to keep a secret. I'm not about secrets, guys. I wanna help your life. Um, I wanna help things, um, you know, make things easier for you so you enjoy cooking, right? It's my passion, I love it. I've um, been doing it for a very long time. Um, and I love when other people enjoy it and can learn and be happy with what they're doing and say, oh man, I learned something new. So I hope these videos are helping you guys learn things and um, you know, you're taking them and sharing them with your friends. Um, don't be scared to like, follow, share any of these videos with your friends um, just so we can keep the knowledge spreading and uh, having a good time, right? So you see here, guys, and we know we get over here, it's a little rougher spot, but even then, right, that vegetable peeler would add a hard time there. Got this spoon. And again, you can do this with a teaspoon, tablespoon, um, you know, standard spoon in your house, um, you know, or a service spoon in, in the industry, right? And when this ginger is ready to go, right here, this piece, you know, we could keep breaking it down, um, or it may be better to just snip that right off, put that there, all right? Again, guys, you know, before I would chop that up, you know, take my rag, I'll clean my station because now what I'm gonna get into is a finished product. So all this little dusting from the uh, skin, from peeling it, right? I wanna get that out of the way, okay? I wanna get that out of the way, boom, all right? And then I'll go back, I'll reset, okay? I'm working clean, my mind is clean, I'm mise and plossed out, right? My tools are mised, my mind is mised, all right? And we're breaking down this ginger here, folks, right? And, you know, stack it up, cut it down, all right? And then a little rough chop. And again, so when I do this, I'm gonna add it to the garlic that I already have, right? And it's something that I would, you know, maybe start a sauce with. Um, or I'll add to a marinade. Um, but again, a great product to be using. Uh, don't forget to use your ginger. Again, really good for gut health. Um, tremendous flavor, island flavors there. Um, you know, Middle Eastern flavors with ginger. Um, Hawaiian flavors, right? So, so many demographics of the world use ginger. Um, if I were to have this clean piece, maybe I might boil in some water to make that fresh tea. Um, so, so many different ways, like I said. Um, but again, the main point here is make sure you use a spoon when we're trying to clean up our ginger. Thanks.